Welcome back to the DoFund's online computer skills class. This is lesson six, part two on using Google Docs. Like we discussed before, Google Docs is a word processor and it can be accessed through your Google Drive. You access, access it the same way you access any other Google apps by clicking the nine dots. Locate the nine dots at the top right corner of the page and from there, select Drive. Once you're in Drive, you're gonna find a big button on the left side that says New. And when you click on New, a drop-down menu will come up. From that drop-down menu, you will click Google Docs. And that will start you a new document. It'll look like this when you open up your document. Of course, yours will be blank. One of the cool things about Google Docs is that it saves your progress automatically. But something that you're going to need to do is title your document. It's very easy to do. You just would click up where it says Untitled Document at the top left of the page. And when you click on it, you'll have an opportunity to type in a name for your document. There it is, top left corner. Something else that's useful about Google Docs is that if you hover the mouse over any icon, don't click it, just hover the mouse cursor over it, it will tell you what formatting will happen if you select it, right? So we see the, the example here, this person hovered their mouse over this area and found that this is where you would adjust the font. In today's assessment, you will practice with some of the usual options for formatting documents. But right now, I'm going to take a moment to actually open up Google Docs and show you some of the more frequently used tabs. So you'll see that I'm here in my drive. I'm going to click on right here where it says new on the left side. And when I click new, I see this drop down menu. I'm now going to select Google Docs because that is what I want. And this is what a brand new Google Doc looks like. So up at the top, there's your option to name your document. I recommend doing that right away before you begin working. So I'm gonna call this Thomas's document. Okay. And when you see that blinking cursor on the middle, like over here, that is when you are able to type. And you know, you type whatever you need to put up there. <laughs> okay. Some other features to keep in mind too are the fact that you can adjust your font, right? Which is the style of text. Um, so I would highlight the text and then click where it says font and I could change the style. So it looks a bit different. There's a few diff there's a lot of different choices in terms of your font. Um, the professional ones are Arial, Times New Roman. Those are acceptable ones. You can also change the size and notice that when I hover my mouse cursor over that spot, it says font size and I could decrease it or increase it. So if I increase it, I could click here, right? Or I could just enter a number and hit enter, right? and I'll change the size of my documents. Something else to keep in mind too that's very commonly used is alignment. So that's in this section over here. And when I hover my mouse over, you'll see that this says left align, the middle says center align, and the right side says right align. And you'll see that if I click right align, it aligns to the right. Center aligns my text in the center and left aligns it to the left, which is your usual, um, you know, default format. You can also make adjustments to the style of your text, right? Um, so there's bold, you can put it in a bold format, italic or underline. But I, I really want you to take away the fact that when you, if you are ever using this and confused about what any of these buttons do, you can hover your mouse over it and figure out, and, and it'll tell you what it does. So there's bullet points, right? You can click to 
you know, choose different styles of bullet points. You could do a numbered list. And again, if you forget any of this, you can do a little bit of exploring. Hover your mouse over it, click, check out some things. But the main things that you'll need to use to put together a professional document are adjusting your font, your size, whether it's bold, italic, underline, or none of the above. You can adjust text color and highlight and your alignment. Those are your main things that you'll need to create a professional document. Congrats on reaching the end of the lesson six part two video on using Google Docs. You can return to the Google Classroom classwork page and take the lesson six part two assessment. Good luck in completing the assessment.